We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Hey guys, this is Suzanne. Coming back to you today, I'm pulling out one of my older journals. I got to looking through things last night and forgot that I had done a December daily in 2011. And this was a whole new experience for me. And I don't know why I haven't done one since then, probably because life is so hectic in December, but I love it. I love recording the whole um, time around the holidays, times of getting together and special events and everything. So I'm going to uh, take you through this. I'll try it pretty quickly. Yeah, we'll see how that works. <laughs> Long-winded preacher's daughter. <laughs> I got a gift to gab. So um, anyway, I did this. Um by covering um, cardstock and making the pages and using the rings. And mm, I don't know, I do have a uh, binding machine now, which I totally so have not ever used, but this would be great to bind this. And I like the flexibility of putting it all together and working on the pages separately while you're doing it and then putting it together. That's kind of nice. But I just uh, used a, a, just a lot of Christmas stuff that I have and, and distressed some of it. And well, let's get started. Um, December the 1st. Oh my gosh, look at my little reed man, how little he was. He was 15 months old there. I hope this background is gonna work with y'all here. This is one of my special um, Afghans that my mama has crocheted, so. And this was our 2011 Christmas cards. This, you're gonna see, this actually is not our house, even though our house is a bungalow style, but we went to North Alabama to a place called Decatur and went through a historical home tour for Christmas and it was awesome. So that was our Christmas card. Ever since our grandsons have been born, we always include them on our Christmas cards. And I still love Christmas cards. And I know so many people are getting away from sending them, but I send out Christmas cards because I love getting them. And I'm actually gonna do me a book of just all my Christmas cards too, been keeping them. This day was December the 1st. And in the state of Alabama, in the education system this particular year, a lot of changes had happened with our insurance. So a lot of people that were 60 and above decided to go ahead and retire because it was gonna greatly affect their insurance. And this was three ladies that I had worked with at the college that I love so much. This lady, oh my gosh, my prayer partner, that is the classiest lady I've ever met in my whole life. This one was my boss for a long time. And I would say Suzanne is not a real common name, but she, her name is Suzanne also. And so she was Suzanne number one, I was Suzanne number two until the time she left. And then this is one of the ladies that worked for me. So I talked about how I felt about them, about them retiring, how it was their last day. And then on the second, some of my dear friends, this is my BFF right here, Janice. And she actually left the campus that we worked on going, she and this young, um, let's see, these two, uh, worked on our campus and they left to go work on another campus about 15 miles away, which is not that far, but it's just that when you've been so close to somebody working with them every day, it's kind of hard to see them leave. But um, she's now still working and I'm retired, so but we're still BFFs. Um, December the 3rd, I just took some of my Christmas cards and also inserted them in. And this day, nothing really major happened. So I just put, for unto us a child is born, unto us a son is given. And the government shall be upon his shoulder, and his name shall be called Wonderful Counselor, Prince of Peace. So, you know, this is the real reason of Christmas. We get carried away with a lot of the commercialism, but this is the real reason we celebrate. December the 4th, my sweet hubby went and cut, uh, cut down a live tree to put out on our porch outside. And I had a Christmas card of a little boy that had cut down a tree. And so what I did on a lot of my older Christmas cards, I took and I put pictures. I know there's a lot of glare on that. That's my Christmas tree in my dining room, my red dining room. And then this was my Christmas tree in my living room that year. I love decorating for Christmas. I love decorating Christmas trees. So every year I try to do something different, some kind of new aspect to it. Is he not the cutest thing? 
we found him. My husband loves Christmas as much as I do. And so we found him and he's just so cute. We try to find one unique piece every Christmas to buy for our house. And it's getting kind of full, so I don't know if we'll continue doing that. December the 5th, this is my great nephew, Carter. And he won actually the very first Louis Vaughn Memorial Trophy in his whole youth league because he was such an outstanding football player and still is. I'm expecting this one. I spoke it over him. I proclaimed it. He's going to be our first collegiate um, athlete in our family ever. He is outstanding. He plays soccer. He plays um, basketball and football. Doesn't care anything about baseball. He just excels in everything he does. December the 6th, this was Christmas pictures that my beautiful family had made with Santa Claus. And this was before Rhett was ever in the picture too, so. Um, December the 7th, this was actually a um, day that we celebrated all the people that I spoke of before. Uh, it was their retirement, a little retirement party that we did. But I took this time to reflect upon two women that were so very special to me. Um, in a matter of 11 months, no, I'm sorry. In a matter of 13 months, I lost three women that were super close to me. I lost my sister in September of 2010. We lost this lady here in July of 2011 and then following, and actually the two of them are in this picture together at a Christmas party at my house. And this is my sweet Marie. We lost her in November of 2011. <sighs> Man, it was a difficult time. Both had cancer. Marie had fought cancer for about seven years and I was her supervisor for six of those years. And I know that's why God put me where he did in the very uh, capacity that I was, was to be her supervisor and to watch over her during that time. This lady lost her only daughter to breast cancer in 2009. And she retired in April of 2010 and found out she had a very rare form of cancer. And we lost her. The Lord took her home. Um, in July. So I sang at both of their funerals, which was very hard, but I had to do it as a standing tribute. We actually built this lady a house. My husband subcontracts and he built her a house, brand new house, very much like ours, a bungalow style. And she got to live in it about um, two years, maybe. But she's at home reunited with her only daughter. And but I'll just tell you, losing three precious people in your life in 13 months is not an easy thing to get over. And sometimes I I wonder still if I'm over it. Was it ha was it not for the, the grace and the mercy and the strength of the Lord? I wouldn't be here because it was just about too much for me to be able to handle. On the 8th, I gave my BFF uh, her Christmas present. And y'all know I talk about hounds, too. This woman is an avid University of Alabama Crimson Tide fan. And I bought her a sign that says, if I can't wear my hound's tooth, I'm not going. <laughs> I've told y'all, for those that are y'all that are from, not from Alabama, this is the pattern that Alabama uses. And I also bought her a little purse to carry to the ball games and everything. But she's my buddy. Um, just some cute little decorations I put in there on the night. We went to an ugly sweater or sweatshirt contest at Friends of Ours. And I mean, the tackier, the better. The tackier, the better. <laughs> so this was a whole group of Friends of Ours. And that's actually our pastor and his wife. But we just had a great time. And I just loved using all the different papers. And then I want you to look at these glasses that I made. I took... Christmas trees and stuck them on the side of my glasses. And we were really decked out that night. A lot of fun. Just put that on the back of a Christmas card. And then this was all of us, everybody with their ugly sweaters and 
I don't know. That's a big thing around here. But John won the prize. He, I actually paid good money for that sweatshirt that he's wearing years ago to wear. And then he won the prize for the ugly shirt. So, um, on the 10th, we ended up going to where I told you, like, where we had our Christmas cards made. We went to Decatur, which is North Alabama. They, and you start the historical tour in a beautiful church. And they had nativity scenes from all over the world have been collecting them a long time. And so I just loved using all this decorative paper and all these cute, these are, this is from October afternoon. I love their stuff so much. But this was actually the little house. This was the picture that we used on our Christmas card because we love historical homes. We love the old style houses. So that was on the 10th of December there. And that is some more of them. A lot of October afternoon um, things that we used. I just put a lot of pictures. They were playing like the harpsichord. I think that's what you call them. And they used a lot of live, uh, live fruit. Fruit is not live. Real fruit, though, <laughs> in their decorations with the magnolia leaves. Yeah, I got the grocery store and buy some live fruit. <laughs> and in this historical home, this lady had an antique purse collection. Now that would drive me crazy hanging on my walls. I have to say I couldn't that oh I couldn't stand that all the time. But oh my gosh, what an awesome collection of purses and just made pictures of different trees and said that we will go back next year and we haven't been back yet. So the eleventh was the very first time that uh, my daughter sang in the um, church where she is now sang in their Christmas program our little man and then the 12th uh, my secretary turned 50 that year she's a gorgeous lady and oops and I forgot she's no longer my secretary <laughs> I'm retired I forgot this was my this was part of my work group there uh, but she still is my very close friend so she's a beautiful lady sings like you wouldn't believe and I love this card. See the, the dimension on the letters and everything. So I used a lot of the old cards. And I just kind of go through and take pictures of my house when it's decorated for Christmas. That really wasn't that decorated. But these pictures kind of show. Oh, and my fireplace. I love it. And I would decorate it. I ended up getting a huge wreath to go up above it. And now there is a TV above my fireplace. And that makes me sad. <laughs> oh, I just couldn't fight my husband because he wanted it so badly. But I had a huge picture up there and I loved it so much. And this is my dining room. It's the, it's the dark, real red. And I, I uh, collect the red and white transfer wear. So I like to make pictures. I'm happy. I tell you, it also helps to go back and look at those pictures the next year so that you can remember how it was decorated. Who? Okay. This was my Sissy's first birthday. This was my first birthday without her. Her, It was her birthday, but it was the first time I'd been without her. And I put on here, time seems to stand still without you. She's not a beautiful lady. <sighs> That's a hard one. We'll move on. <laughs> uh, my daughter has one of the greatest groups of friends. She uh, Went to high school and college with every one of these, except this one. I mean, they went to high school with her, and they're still very close. She went locally, and with all the rest of these girls went to Auburn University. We're down there together for four years and are still amazing friends. And I am so thankful that she has that kind of friendship. Close, close friends. Um, a big tradition that I started back in, I think, 2004 was opening our home at Christmas time for an annual party from uh, the employees that I supervised and some that were in John's department also and the Office of Student Services at the college. And of course, some could come, some couldn't because one of the campuses is like an hour and a half away and one's an hour away. So, but as you can see, we had a great turnout and always so much fun. And these pictures are hilarious. Because we played Dirty, Dirty Santa. And I'm hoping that maybe this year that we can still continue um, the, um, the, the having the Christmas party here. Because, gosh, I'll have even more time 
to get ready for it. And uh, my husband does still work there. But there's one of my friends, Gina, saying, please don't take my gift away from me. So we're funny, but we do play dirty. And here's more. I made everybody make sad pictures when they didn't want their pictures taken. I mean, they didn't want their gifts taken away from them. Another pretty Christmas card. And that that's my foyer at Christmas. And yes, we have camels in our foyer at Christmas. <laughs> They're so funny. And my sister-in-law bought these years ago and she no longer used them. So we love them. They're leather and they are adorable. Definitely a conversation piece when people come in. Every year we go to a fantastic Christmas brunch at good friends of ours, Bruce and uh, Cheryl. Their house is absolutely gorgeous. It used to belong that it's been sold a couple of times, but it actually was built by another couple in our church. And it actually has the hardwood floors in it from our original old, old church. So the house is just gorgeous. And this is just a bunch of wild women that have been friends forever. And we were just showing out and taking fun pictures. <laughs> just fun to get together. We don't get to get together as much as we used to because all of us... But this is a lot of the couples that were there at the party. So I always make a lot of pictures because I love memories. I love pictures. And there we were posing as Charlie's angels. And I said, these three are not anybody's angels. Don't let this pose fool you. <laughs> that is three characters. And she's kind of quiet. These two, oh my gosh, they're so much fun. This was an old card that I had got, and I backed it. I mean, it was a vintage-looking card. It really wasn't, but I just thought it was so pretty at the beginning of Christmas. I love this page. I think this is one of the sweetest pictures that John and I have ever had made. Just love it. And I love these little soldiers down on the bottom. So, so this is just so much fun. Why am I not doing this every year? Oh, and this is the 17th, and... Ash and Michael had to go somewhere, so we kept Reed that night, and he helped his papa clean the floors. The 18th of December is my Maddie Beth's party, and she was 11 there. She's now 14, so I thought that turned out so cute with all the pink. She has grown up so much since then. And here's where we took Maddie out to eat for her birthday. I think we went to Olive Garden and... She loved Hello Kitty. Gosh, she's grown up so much since then. But I had her little Hello Kitty shirt made. And there she is with her mom. She's gorgeous, my mom. And with my sister's husband, my brother-in-law. So I just had a great time. On December the 19th, I put Jesus, just the mention of his name. As I said again, I have to reflect and make sure that we keep the holiday in the right balance. The 20th just did a page where I went by and saw my baby boy. The 21st took mother to do a little shopping. Uh, we had so much fun together. And then we came back by and saw the grandbaby. So just love decorating these pages. I don't remember where I got these, but they were specifically designed for like a December daily because they had December with all the months on them. Uh, the 22nd, I just put on there the next few days, we'll be blessed with family. Thank you, Lord, for my family. We are not perfect, but we love each other, and we are forgiving of each other. And in order for a family to work successfully, man, you've got to do that. you got to let go and let God in a lot of situations. The 23rd, our new tradition when my daughter got married was for us to have Christmas Eve Eve, as we call it, where we get together just with our immediate family on the 23rd. And lots of times they will spend the night. It depends, you know, how things are going. But this was just family time. My mother had crocheted. Uh, actually, this is one that I'd had for a while. And I washed it and got it smelling real good and everything and gave them one because they didn't have a real good one to cover up under. And oh my gosh, they're so warm and so thick. A lot of stitches there made by a very special lady. Just another really pretty Christmas card from the past. And I put Reed on there. And, oh my gosh, they gave me Reed's footprint in ceramic. And I'm such a mush. <laughs> 
And I just got one the other day of Rhett's. So, love it. Love it, love it, love it. And this was just our special time together as our immediate family. Just another really cute Christmas card. And put me and my boy there. And this was Ashley's really special Christmas gift that year. Um, I gave it to her on the 23rd. As I told you, she graduated from Auburn University. And I took all of her t-shirts and had them made into a quilt. And as you can see, they are the Auburn Tigers. And they went. the lady went around in the edge of a tiger print and even put Auburn's logo uh, fabric on the back. So, she loves her quilt. Yes, that says pimps and hoes. <laughs> something, something to do with one of her sororities or something. She was not a pimp or a hoe while she was there. <laughs> Still not. Uh, just there we are with our beautiful, oh my gosh, my husband loves those grandbabies. Another cute Christmas card. And then the 24th is tradition that we always have Christmas Eve at my mother's house. And that's my mother and her sister. And that's my twin there. That's my niece. That's so much like me. Gosh, she's so much like me. And this is just a lot of family pictures on the 24th. Another really pretty card that I had and I took and put a picture of my aunt and uncle on the back of that. We have a lot of people. I think we run about 35 people at my mother's. We've now moved it to my house. But This was my brother-in-law, my sister that had passed away. This is me and my sister-in-law putting mistletoe over his head. <laughs> we love him. We love him so much. Uh, my niece with her boys. And my other niece was pregnant with her first baby. And that was We were going to welcome the new baby in 2012. And John said something the other day on one of the um, um, videos that we did for me and Ashley doing Mule Black Kiss. Uh, I, all I know to say is that's a grandmother thing. I don't know where the name came from. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, me and my precious brother. We are two peas in a pod right there. That's my sidekick. And then a great picture with my mother. So, family. And I put all these, I know I'm shaking so bad with this camera, but I put, um, all these are felt um, red bird cardinals, and that's one of her favorite birds. She feeds birds all over her property, so she, she can tell you every bird there is. And then this is the 25th of December, and this is on Christmas Day. We always spend Christmas Day with John's family, and that's all of his beautiful nieces and his mother. I can tell that we, a lot of us have aged a lot in the last four years since these were made. So, uh, And then, of course, my daughter and uh, we all, all go over there. I love all these. These, uh, these were actually like um, to go on gifts. Like they have little things for, your, for the names on the gifts. But Reed had on his Alabama Christmas hat. And my beautiful family. And I just put down there that I am a blessed woman, which we've added another beautiful one since then. And indeed, we are blessed. And then just did the back of it. So, uh, my first, my one and only Christmas daily, December daily. And I stopped with the 25th. Some people go on through, but I find that the days after Christmas that we're recuperating. And I usually, I put my Christmas decorations up so early that I tend to start taking my Christmas decorations down pretty quickly. So I hope you've enjoyed this flip through a lot of pictures because I mean, that's what a December daily is about is, is talking about what you did every day, what parties you went to, what fellowship you had, um, you know, who you're with. Cause I think that's what December is about is a lot of time of fellowship. That's what it needs to be about instead of commercialism and, everything and so I hope you enjoyed it. I enjoyed making it and when I found it yesterday let me see if I get this closed back here. Got one of the hooks wrong. But when I found it yesterday I just I had a good time looking back over it again. So maybe this year I can do another one. That would be great. So hope you enjoy it. Thanks. We wish you a Merry Christmas, we wish you a Merry Christmas, we wish